Hey folks, this is the Y1 watch. It's a cheap under $10 watch you can get off eBay. It has a SIM card capability, uh, so you can call directly from the watch, as well as a um, SD micro SD card slot in here. So the nice thing is, and you can change the watch faces here, You know, some of them are a bit cheesy, but uh, that's basically it. And we want to get into the watch, you just swipe up. Anyway, let me show you uh, some things I wanted to do is, uh, I wanted to see if I could hack this thing in a way to play videos. So it can't play videos natively. Uh, it will let you play JPEG. Uh, you can watch some JPEG uh, images. I've tried other formats. They're kind of spotty. It doesn't really work with, uh, with other formats. It will play music. MP3 files will play on here. And I did a few tests. The resolution is 240 by 240. Um, so you have different options here. If you want it to fit in the screen completely, you can do 180. 194 or 192 gives you about, uh, here I'll show you, that's 180, that's the square. See how it fits in there fully? If you want 240, it'll completely fill the screen, see, because edge to edge. That's 240, and this is, to play a uh, video, you basically will do a uh, anim, uh, animated GIF here. And that's one I downloaded off the web, and you can see it plays fairly well, although the frame rate is pretty low. I tried various tests. So I want to just show you the tests. Uh, I used Big Buck Bunny, which is one of those free, um, what do you call it, uh, op public uh, domain or uh, free free commons, uh, I guess, um, videos. So I tried first at 24 frames a second, which is what I the download I got. And as you can see, that's slow. It's not actually full rate. It's um, it's smooth, you know, but you can see that it's going at um, roughly about three times slower than the actual video. You can see there's, so I'm gonna back it up. Now, if I go back, come on, come on. What is wrong with this thing? Okay. Um, I slowed it down to five. I tried various things. So five is a lot faster, as you can see. But the frame rate actually doesn't really look that much better. And it's actually quite choppy. So it didn't really play very well. Um, so I tried different strategies. And it turns out that what actually worked at the end of the day was to take the video and speed it up and actually reduce it down in speed. Um, so I would f I would speed up the frame rate, or actually keep the frame rate at about 10 to 12, and sped up the video to about half the time, and then converted it to 12. So and then at somehow it balances out, so it ends up being smooth, but at the same time keeping uh, about a one to one speed with a real thing. Because GIF, this thing will not play the GIF at the accurate timing that it's supposed to play with for the frame rate. The other interesting thing I saw was that you know, you can play music at the same time as you can watch the uh, GIF. So I tried out this because otherwise the GIF doesn't have any music in it. And if you want to hear music with your video, you're going to want to uh, to have the audio as an MP3. So let me get back here. I'll show you how that works. So we're going to do this now. I'm going to show you how it works. And I actually got the full 10 minute um, Big Buck Bunny video in here. Uh, now, the only problem with the watch is it does go into sleep mode if you don't touch the screen every minute. So unless you press a button or something, it will blank the screen. So I'm going to keep tapping the screen every minute or so to keep it going. We'll see how long it takes to get in uh, to get out of sync. The other thing is I added a little bit of a lead time to the audio, a countdown, so that I could actually get into the file manager and actually play the video in time. So here we go. So just a little bit of timing here and begin. Come on. Let's have to rewind. Okay, here we go. What is wrong with this thing? Okay, here. Come on. Come on. So 
So there's the video. So I'll periodically tap the screen like that. So there's still pretty good sync right there. Okay, the Peach Open Movie Project. Okay, here we are. Big Buck Bunny. So remember, you're playing. We're playing an MP3, and the, the processor in the watch is also now um, at the same time playing an animated GIF. I used FFmpeg to convert the GIF. Uh, sorry, the MP4 to a GIF, and there's a feature which lets you uh, optimize the palette. Otherwise, it would look even greenier than this. I know you can see it's kind of pixelated because it's only using 256 color. Um, you can see the little dots up there. That's about as good as it gets, and I'm using a special palette um, feature that will, in FFmpeg, that tries to match up as many colors as possible. File size wise, I think this thing's about 50 meg for 10 minutes, but I can play longer videos. I've tried, you know, half an hour, an hour. I mean, it actually keeps going. It's, it's crazy what you can do with an animated GIF on this thing, but um, you know, it goes pretty long. So the, the audio is still more or less in sync with the GIF. Um, it's not exactly like he just took a bite and we heard the bite after the fact. So we're close. You're not going to be um, able to time it much better than that, I'm afraid. You have to really, um, really, really set your parameters and test it out. And it could be also that, see the time, the backlight started to dim there. Um, so every minute or so the backlight will dim, I have to remember to press the, the screen. So what will happen is, um, unfortunately, and I'm not sure if this is consistent, but depending on the GIF, depending on the colors um, and so on, it may or may not play at the same rate. I'm not sure what's happening inside this MediaTek processor, inside this cheap watch. So I can't guarantee that it'll uncompress every GIF frame the same. Uh, because again, we don't know, I don't know what it does in here, whether there's a lot of overhead uh, or if there's time for it to, to actually pause between frames, it's pretty much going at the full speed it can. And if it's um, not, you know, if, it, if the video has different colors, schemes, and so on, I'm not sure if it'll, if it'll work. So there, we're ahead a little bit on the audio again. You can see they're throwing the, the nuts at the, at the bunny. Let's see if this is in sync. He's going to crush the thing. And yeah, see we're ahead. So I so my video is a little bit faster. My GIF is going a bit faster than the audio. And, and there's no real good way to to sync it any better than that. I've tried, you know, finessing it, but. I can't get it any closer, and it also depends on when I started the frame, the uh, the GIF. There's too many too many variables, so you're not going to use this really to. Um, I just join you as a test. You're not really going to use it to to put a whole movie on here because the audio is going to be out of whack. It works for this sh uh, cartoon. Why? Because I mean, most of the time there's, you don't have too many audio features that sync up anyway. There's just some background music. You can, it kind of sounds generic there, like just some music and some noises. So you can't really tell. And now you've got this uh, sort of fanfare music playing. So it fits the scene. That's about as close as you're gonna get. So a little bit of hammering there. Kind of, kind of seems to fit there. I don't know if it's caught up or changed at all. Not sure. Okay. We're about halfway through the video, I believe, now. Okay. Now the scene changed. You can see it was ahead again. Uh, 
Okay, still playing. Again, frame rate's not too bad. And what's happening? Okay, we're ahead. Yep. Now it's quite a bit ahead, actually. So yeah, my video, I, I, my multiplier for the video during conversion was point uh, five five. I used the point five multiplier. It was slow. Uh, sorry, too fast. Then I used the point six. It was too slow. I went halfway. As you can see, it's now a little bit fast. So probably a point five eight or five seven. I mean, I, I'm not gonna start experimenting and converting this to the fraction of a you know a hundredth of a multiplier it's impossible to know whether it will still work or not okay still playing okay we should hear a sound like a bump on the bird yeah that was it there see still ahead by about five seconds now. And here we are. And there's no way I can pause this thing. That's the other problem. I can't really, I can pause the music, but as soon as I get out of the video, I can't um, enter back in. I can't pause the GIF either. So the problem is if, I, if my sync is out of whack, then, um, you know, if I could at least make the video faster slightly, Periodically, I could pause the video and then release it when it seems in sync again. But unfortunately, I can't. Um, I can't do that. So once you get it going, that's the end of it. Oh, I forgot to press. I wonder if that stops the video. I don't think it does. You see, I let the... It'll still play even when the screen is off. So I don't think it's um, that necessary. Okay, we're back to another scene. We're gonna try. I'm gonna let it time out and I'm gonna press the button here and see what happens. Okay, here we go. So we'll just remember what the screen looks like and wait a few seconds. So we've got the squirrel in the, as a kite flying now. Okay, and that's the end of that. Now we're, okay, Peach, open movie team, music and sound design. Okay, it's showing that it's gonna time out. And the screen's there. So you see it, the squirrel was on top of the writing. Let's see what happens. Ah, see it paused, okay. So when the screen goes out, the video stops, which means that if you really wanted to get it back in sync and you noticed the delay, you could let it time out, let the screen go black, and then wait a few seconds and then release. Because the music will keep going in the background, but the GIF does stop with the screen off. So if you find your movie is ahead, let it time out, and then when it feels like it's synced up to the music again, you release it by pressing this, it'll activate the screen again. Okay? So that's really the only way is if and it only works if your GIF is ahead of all. So I would program the GIF to be a little bit faster than the actual uh, sound. And then at least if it goes out of sync, you can catch up that way. Otherwise, if, it, if your GIF is too slow, you won't be able to catch up at all. Okay, we're almost at the end of the uh, Big Bug Bunny. Still not in sync. Oh, it repeated. Okay, sorry. This thing will repeat, by the way, if you do that, if you let it go. All right, anyway, just wanted to show you how this works. Let me just get back out of here, turn off the music. Hopefully YouTube will not complain about the music. I, I know it's an open source or open movie project, um, but who knows if there's a copyright uh, issue with it. Let me open up the phone, uh, sorry, the uh, watch, phone watch. That's the back battery. Okay, just so you have an idea of what's in here. Okay, 380 milliamp hour, 3.7. It's uh, It lasts almost a day. 
not really quite if you don't use your your watch much at all and you have your screen timer set to like you can set it to be off in like five seconds up to a minute then it will actually um, stay on for most of the day but if you start you playing uh, gifs on it like you just saw or mu music it won't last you more than a few hours okay this is my uh, micro SD card that I put big buck bunny on and here is the internal um, as much as I can show you without tearing it apart you can see there's a mic this thing will let you record to the card as well um, you've got a sim slot right here it says sim and this is your SD micro SD card you can charge the port is right there one button over here to turn it on and off and that's basically it so not much to it very cheap phone uh, phone watch it lets you do a few things I just showed you here how you can maybe simulate a movie playing on this thing, although I doubt that you'll want to do that. It's uh, fairly rudimentary. I'll turn it on here so you can see what it looks like when it turns on. Let's get all this back on here. Um, that's the wrong way. I think it goes this way. It only goes one way, except which way? I don't remember. There. Turn it on. You hold it down, the screen comes up, it says smartwatch. And that's it. What other features can I show you? Um, you have a dialer, phone book, call logs. By the way, when your Bluetooth is connected to this, you can see a lot of your info. Anti-lost, you know, again, if Bluetooth is connected. If you walk away from the phone, if, uh, if your watch gets lost or, or walks, your phone disappears, the Bluetooth connection um, will break and then that will notify you. Um, remote, this is, I think a remote camera or BT, no, actually it's a notification. So you have to install some software on the phone calendar, pretty, it's just some silly calendar. I didn't set up the date or anything. See, you, I don't think you can even record anything on here, to be honest. It's just a simple calendar. Um, and then to get out, you do that. What else we have? Sedentary, it's a timer and this thing has a motion sensor in it. So when you flick your wrist, it will turn on the screen. And then when you, it, otherwise it times out. So, um, not always reliable. You have to move a certain way. Otherwise it doesn't turn on. Pedometer uh, works on that principle as well. I'm not sure what this is quick. Oh, this is um, a QR code to let you get the app that accompanies this watch. I haven't used it. Sleep monitor again, uses the motion sensor profiles just lets you set up a few presets alarm file manager we saw calculator is fairly rudimentary um come on let's go see it's not a scientific calculator or anything and it's hard to press on it too okay audio player we saw image viewer um i'm not sure why that's the same as file manager but no files okay not really sure what the point of that is because i i did put my and then sound recorder you can record sound you have a theme in here there's not really anything for me to select there's only one image facebook i haven't tried motion and power settings twitter browser and whatsapp i don't really think work unless you use their companion app but they don't really work at all um but let me see, I have a feeling it's my SIM card, or sorry, my SD card is not being sensed. I don't have it there. Memory card, yeah, it's there. So then why in the world, if you put image viewer, you know, does it not show anything? You think it would pick up all the images on the file, on the file manager card, unless it has to be in the main folder, but that's not true. Anyway, that's it. There you have it. Uh, again, a quick review of the Y1 watch. This is um, from a few generations ago because I did purchase it maybe about a year ago and it's probably old. Um, there are some codes that you can use to actually get into the phone and see the firmware and a few other things. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but if you buy one of these off eBay, you may notice that it has some upgraded features now. If they've used the I doubt that they've improved it much because they can't really do uh, a lot more keeping the cost so low. Uh, but if you happen to get a, a little more expensive watch 
one of these cheap ones, but maybe a little bit upgraded. You may be able to play MP4s. You may be able to play other video files and have better media support. Otherwise, if you want to play around with animations on the old Y1, then this is the method to do it using animated GIFs. But if you happen to know any other way to do it, please uh, drop a comment uh, down below. And uh, again, as always, thank you for watching. And please give us a thumbs up. Bye-bye for now.